Hey guys, it's Hink here. I get asked all the time, what is the best time of day to maximize enlargement? So that's what we're gonna break down today. The different times of the day and the unique benefits based on real science and real data to help you figure out what is gonna be the best routine for you as far as time of the day. So let's get into it. If somebody was pressuring me and they said, Hink, you're on the hot seat, what is the best time of day? I would probably say right before bed. So why? Well, I'll tell you why. So first of all, the tunica albuginea, the outer lining of the penis, okay? Or the, like the thick sheath that actually causes you to have an erection, the gatekeeper for actual penis size, it's composed of collagen. Well, amongst other things like elastin, type one, type three, and type four collagen to be specific. The reason why that's important is because in order to get your your collagen to actually proliferate for la or, or grow, stretch, okay, to and replace it with new collagen, there are actually growth signals that occur while you are sleeping that can help with this process. So specifically, growth hormone is released at night, usually in what we call a pulsatile manner. But the reason why that matters is because there's evidence that growth hormone, specifically one of the more active forms of growth hormone in your body called IGF-1, a peptide. So this one actually has been shown to increase, increase collagen synthesis, especially the type 1, especially when it comes to smooth muscle. And once again, this happens to be what's basically on the inner lining of the tunica albuginea of the penis. If you're doing PE and then you go to bed shortly thereafter, very shortly thereafter, you're going to be exposed to that growth hormone, therefore IGF-1, and therefore get some of those benefits of the collagen synthesis or collagen creation. Other benefits of growth hormone include recovery, especially nerve recovery, like in this study here. Also cell division, it can actually promote the cells to actually grow and actually divide for new tissue. And even injury recovery, if you maybe you overdo it, you're not even aware of it while you're doing PE, getting this growth hormone secretion at night can help you recover better, which is part of the reason why sleep is so important during PE. It's one of the more underrated things. I might have to make just like a whole like video. If you guys want me to make a video on the importance of sleep and why it matters for PE, let me know in the comments below. So growth hormone has a lot of potential benefits and especially we want to maximize our secretion at night. What are some ways that we can do this? Well guys, actually intermittent fasting, okay? Intermittent fasting specifically for like longer durations of time. So I'm not talking about, in my opinion, those like pansy fasts of like four to six hours or you just skip a meal. I mean actually more like 24 to 48 hours has the most data for actually increasing growth hormone secretion and you can see it in this paper here if you want to check it out. Also guys, intense exercising. So I'm not talking about like going to the gym and hitting a few sets. I mean like intense cardio where you're hitting those higher zone, zone three, four, five cardio where your heart is racing. That can actually increase your growth hormone production. And actually just taking melatonin. So when you take melatonin, the data's pretty clear. I'm sure there's gonna be somebody in the comments talking about how, well actually hink melatonin. Melatonin actually like in this paper here can actually help with growth hormone secretion. So those are some things that you could do you know, prior to bed to help maximize your growth hormone secretion. What's the other thing that is important that is also secreted at night? Guys, testosterone, okay? So just to be very clear, guys, I made several videos about it. If you went through a normal puberty, no matter how much additional testosterone you take, it's not going to make you grow more. However, there are some benefits of testosterone at night. So specifically, so the better you sleep, the more, if you're, especially if you're natural, the better your testosterone production is going to be because your deeper sleep, you get deep, better hormone release, okay? Now, why is this important? Well, guys, nocturnal erections. If you haven't seen my videos on like the importance of nocturnal erections and sleep and how that's a marker for injury, you need to check that out. But specifically, I want to read you something. Sleep-related erections are triggered by the release of nitric oxide by the nitric, the nitrogenic nerve fibers within the cavernous nerves. Androgens relate to, regulate this mechanisms as well as some other non-nitrogenic processes within the... God, I'm struggling tonight. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> <laughs> within the corpus cavernous and within the central nervous system. So basically what it's saying is that if you have better testosterone secretion at night, you're gonna have better of that nitric oxide stimulation or release. You're actually gonna get better nocturnal erections. Nocturnal erections are so important, guys, because you're literally filling your blood, filling your penis with healthy blood at night that is going to help you recover, okay? And then, you know, one could even argue, oh, it'll help you stay in an extended state longer because, you know, you are gonna be having these pulsatile nocturnal erections at night. 
I also think it's important because when you are asleep, you're in a state of basically relaxation, meaning you're not up like walking around. Typically, you're not like straining your pelvic floor in your sleep. You're not sitting with bad posture at your desk, putting weird pressure on your pelvic floor. You're just kind of peacefully lying in bed, hopefully, if you're lucky enough to get good quality sleep. I know everybody's conditions are a little bit different. But I think in general, just being unconscious and recovering and just not putting any kind of stress on your body and in being in that recovery mode, I think it's a good thing. And guys, here's a hack for you as well. So taking a good citrulline based supplement, okay? Of course, you know, I'm going to talk about that, but not right this second, okay? But just listen to this for me, okay? So incorporating L-arginine and L-citrulline into your bedtime routine can have a positive impact on your sleep quality and overall health. It can help with such things as enhanced blood flow, relaxation, hormonal regulation, and more, okay? So in particular, you want a combination of L-arginine and L-citrulline. I've already talked previously how the combination of the two actually work better than either one independently. Do not take L-arginine by itself. You consume it and 80% of it just gets destroyed off the bat, okay? Guys, Vigor, I specifically created it. We have something that's called nitrosigine, okay? It's actually a more bioavailable and more stable form of L-arginine that works together with things like citrulline and other nitric oxide boosting substance to make this I mean a premium product guys like it's Amazon choice for a reason like I mean and it's getting great reviews guys like I, I can't tell you how many times I get messages from guys and they're like oh my god I just tried vigor this stuff is amazing so it's not just me another key thing is that if you take L-citrulline and L-arginine or vigor before bed what it's going to do is is actually gonna boost your nitric oxide when you sleep it's gonna boost the quality of your nocturnal erections to get more healthy blood flow and also keep you just more constant blood flow to that area while you're sleeping and it's going to literally help you recover guys help repair those endothelial cells that you're no doubt damaging when you do PE along with that guys you know how I feel about the use of something like a PDE5 inhibitor like Viagra or Cialis specifically taking some of that before bed can furthermore help it can work synergistically with something like a good citrulline based product like Vigor of course so what are some of the negatives by doing it at bed well most people if they're going to get frisky with a partner, it typically happens before bed. And guys, doing PE before bed can actually affect your immediate like erectile quality afterwards. So you need to be aware of that and know how you respond to that. I know some guys that have trouble getting like a, a like a firm erection after doing PE and that could, you know, inhibit your plans. And of course, guys, like if you pump too long or if you don't realize where your vacuum cap is, then you can really have like a like a minor injury ish like imagine if you were doing PE before bed we're planning on getting frisky and then you got like a blister you know that would kind of screw things up so just just be aware some of those like like minor injuries that can occur when you're doing PE right before bed especially right before you know any kind of activities might ruin that and then guys like if you are doing PE before bed especially if you're doing something like pumping and once again you're going to be doing that and then going right into some you know nocturnal activities if you know what I mean you could actually get a psychologic addiction to that pumped size now depending on how you pump I personally don't think you should gain that much additional size by pumping but for some people it can be like up to a half an inch bigger okay if you like pump up and then engage in activities and then your partner gets used to you at that size you're going to be paranoid like oh well I didn't pump you know are they going to be disappointed with my normal size so just just be aware of that guys so now we're going to talk about the timing regarding in the morning and if this is a good time but before I do that guys my course is live okay it's getting great reviews I'm helping literally like hundreds of guys get bigger I've put on an inch and a half in length and an inch in girth and you can too my course it's based on real science there's no bullshit or any of that stuff guys it's real deal stuff it takes some time and effort on your part but if you follow it I guarantee you you will grow as well but check it out if you're interested link is in the description I've recently added an additional like 45 minutes of material so this thing is over two hours long now so in the morning guys I do my PE in the morning why do I do that well actually guys I do it twice a day now but my main routine is in the morning and because I get it done and I get it behind me I wake up before anybody else and I make sure like I have my privacy and my alone time and I get it done so no matter what happens the rest of the day no matter how late I'm on call or whatever it may be my PE is done okay same reason why I go to the gym in the morning to get the stuff that I feel like I need to do or have to do behind me to me that is the biggest benefit also you're covering off of like recovering all night long and those like nocturnal erections in some ways your body could be like primed to actually do PE in the morning 
the biggest, one of the bigger downsides with doing it in the morning that I have found is that my arousal levels in general are lowest in the morning because I'm like, I'm just waking up. I'm still kind of groggy and getting things together. And then if I need any kind of good EQ for any kind of girth work, it does make that a little bit more challenging versus at the end of the day, specifically at night. To me, it's just a easier mentality to get into that zone later in the evening. I also really like the fact that I have a set cutoff. I have to go to work, and in my case, I have to go to the gym by a certain time, so I know I have this amount of time for PE. Some guys can get into a rhythm, especially if they're doing very stimulating things like clamping, for example, where they can almost get into a type of addictive behavior, especially depending on the type of material that they're looking at. It can literally lead to addictions with those types of materials. Knowing that, okay, I have 20 minutes to get this done, it makes it forces you to be concise and get it done. And for all my guys that are trying to avoid fat it's it makes it easier because it's like okay PE is done like yes I'm kind of ready for action right now but I, I have to go to work I have to go to school I have to go to the gym whatever it may be you don't have that extra time to therefore fap and then one of the other things that I really like about it is that if you are engaging in evening activities if you know what I mean you know that you did your PE in the morning and therefore you've had like all day to recover. So by the time evening comes around, you know that you're gonna be good to go. Most importantly, guys, the timing, just get it done, whatever works best for you. So if you have the ability to work from home and you know that your spouse, your significant other, whatever it is, your family all leave for the day for their jobs or for school or whatever, and you have the house to yourself, then maybe that is the best time, okay? The one thing that I would recommend is you try to be consistent as far as the time of day that you do it because you know this is my time to do it. Now, there are exceptions to this, for example, you could have a routine where you say, okay, every day, as soon as I finish my lunch, I'm gonna do my PE. That at least gets you into a set routine, but it, that, that time can actually fluctuate a little bit because there's some people that actually have trouble staying consistent and getting what they need to do done. If they don't have a set specific schedule, they'll make excuses and not do it. So just make sure you have a set either time of day or a set routine every day so you can build healthy habits and actually stick with this and do it. Because guys, I've said it before, this is a long haul. We're talking about at least six months for the kind of minimal gains long term, at least a year before you really get substantial life changing gains is what I would say. And in my case, it's been actually Actually, I'm going on four years now of this and I continue to gain. It is worth it, but you just have to be consistent. So find a way to be consistent. And the last thing I want to address is exercise. A lot of guys ask, is it better to do PE before or after the gym? And it, it really just depends to you. There's, there's benefits to both. So if you do PE before the gym, especially if you're doing something like pumping, for example, or even clamping for that matter, or sometimes stretching, you can actually avoid some of that turtling that can occur with heavy exercise. In my case, for example, I do PE and then I go to the gym. So by the time I shower in the gym, I'm still like, you know, just like flopping around and, it, you know, I don't have that insecurity I used to have where I would hide behind a towel and or like shower in underwear or something. But you can get those benefits where you just, you have more of a, more of a hang in the gym if you do PE before. But you have to understand that when you are exercising after that, your blood is going to be shunted away from your, you know, penile tissue. Some of that blood you might want for recovery is going to be going to your extremities or to your muscles. Keep that in mind. Conversely, if you do PE after exercising, there's a good chance you're going to be turtle. It's going to take more time to get that initial relaxation, to get that initial blood flowing back in there. And one could argue, I'm not going to argue, but one could argue that you might be more prone to injury if you do it immediately after heavy exercise because your penile tissue is tends to be so contracted because of that diversion of the blood so there's pros and cons i don't really think it matters i think most importantly you exercise and then figure out how pe can can work out for you but really guys moral of the story however you get it done that is the best time to do it how about that for for a conclusion whenever you can get it done get it done pe exercise whatever you need to do in life just figure out a way to get it done and don't make excuses. Guys, I love you. I can't thank you enough for the support. Until next time, remember, there's nothing wrong with self-improvement, but you are enough just as you are. Peace and love, guys.